The tomorrow we're fighting for is not here yet, but I think we have an opportunity to demonstrate to people that change is possible. I was born in Brisbane. My mum's Chinese, my dad's Italian, so the story of my family is your quintessential story of Australian multiculturalism. As I was growing up in, in high school, it quickly became apparent to me that people were prepared to treat me differently because of the colour of my skin. But as I got older, I started to realise that most people know what it feels like to have your back against the wall and feel like you know, the whole world's against you. I think most people know what it feels like to be alone. I had a friend uh, in high school uh, who felt like he couldn't be himself because he liked other guys. I had a friend who, you know, would wrestle with the reflection every time she looked into the mirror because she felt her body image didn't conform to society's expectations of what a woman should look like. I think it was those early experiences of discrimination that really created a burning passion just overall for justice and for building a more fair and just and sustainable society that honours the intrinsic uh, worth and, and value and dignity of all people. Democracy in Colour is a racial and economic justice organisation led by people of colour, so led by our impacted communities. We do a lot of political advocacy around economic fairness and anti-racism. It's leadership development and capacity building work designed to strengthen the political voice of communities of colour. For us at Democracy in Colour, it's really important that how we operate uh, aligns with the organisation's vision and values. And so that extends to who we bank with as well, which is why we made the decision to choose Bank Australia as our bank, because I think moving your bank account is an incredibly impactful thing that each of us can do right now in order to embody the tomorrow I think we all believe is possible and how we live our lives today.